Glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness worldwide, but so many people misunderstand the disease and how it works. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Saya Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist as well as a glaucoma specialist, and you're watching the ifacts.com channel. So glaucoma is often known as the silent thief of sight because the eye disease often goes unnoticed until a lot of damage has already happened to your optic nerve as well as to your vision. So it's really important for us to clear up the myths about glaucoma. And in this video, we're gonna cover the nine common misconceptions that many people have about glaucoma. Number six and number nine may really surprise you, so be sure to stick around. Myth number one. Glaucoma only affects the elderly. So the truth is that the risk of glaucoma does go up with age, but it doesn't mean that young people cannot have glaucoma. There are infants with glaucoma, there are patients in their teens and 20s with glaucoma. This is not as common as getting glaucoma when you're older, but it can happen. So having a regular eye exam is always important. Myth number two, if I don't have any symptoms, I don't have glaucoma. The truth is that early glaucoma is usually asymptomatic, meaning it doesn't have symptoms. By the time vision changes are actually noticeable, this means that there has already been significant and irreversible damage to the optic nerve that has resulted in vision loss. And this is why glaucoma gets the name the silent thief of sight, because it can rob people of their vision and they will have no clue that they're losing vision. This is because the vision loss in glaucoma happens on the side and you don't really notice loss of peripheral vision when it happens very slowly. You typically will only focus on your central vision. Myth number three, using glasses and contacts can help vision loss from glaucoma. The truth is, or the sad truth is that Unlike having myopia or nearsightedness or farsightedness, when you lose vision from glaucoma, it cannot be corrected by using glasses or contacts. Glasses and contacts are used to correct what we call refractive error, and glaucoma is actually doing damage to the health of the eye, which is reducing your vision. And unfortunately, once you've already suffered vision loss from glaucoma, all we can do is give you treatment to keep what you have, but we cannot bring back the vision that you have already lost. Myth number four, glaucoma can be cured. Now the truth is that unfortunately there is actually no cure for glaucoma, but there are so many good treatments available for glaucoma and there's way more treatment now than there ever has been in the past. There are so many more eye drops, there's more surgeries available, and all these different ways are how we keep patients from going completely blind with glaucoma. So it is very possible to have glaucoma your whole life and still have good vision because of all the new advances in treatment and therapy. Now let's get into myth number five, which is if my vision is fine, I don't need an eye exam. So unfortunately, one of the scariest things that I hear from patients is that they think that if their vision seems okay, they don't need an eye exam because they're not having symptoms. Unfortunately, having normal vision, which is usually normal central vision, like having 20-20 vision, does not guarantee that the entire eye is healthy. In fact, you can have glaucoma and have 20-20 vision. You can even have advanced glaucoma and have 20-20 vision. This is why having a complete dilated eye exam at regular intervals is important. So what does regular intervals really mean? This is dependent on you as the patient, what your risk factors are, and if you have any other chronic diseases. So once you go in for a baseline eye exam, your doctor can tell you where you fall in terms of risk and how often you should be dilated. So even if you're 20, 20 and your central vision seems okay, it's not a good idea to go five, 10 years without getting your eyes checked because waiting until you have symptoms can mean you've waited too long. Myth number six, only people with a family history of glaucoma will get glaucoma. Now, unfortunately, this is not true. Patients often say, well, no one in my family has glaucoma, so I won't get it. That is not true. Having a family history does increase your risk for having glaucoma, but anyone can get glaucoma, even if you have no family history of it. 
This is why regular screening for glaucoma is very, very important, especially after the age of 40 when it becomes more common. Myth number seven, eye pressure is the only thing that matters in glaucoma. So this is actually not true and it is a discussion that I have with patients all the time. Having high eye pressure is definitely a big risk factor for getting glaucoma. But the crazy thing is, is that you can have glaucoma with totally normal eye pressure. This is why a complete eye exam is so important. Not just getting your pressure checked or not just getting your vision checked. In order to really check for glaucoma, you need to have the doctor look at your optic nerve. And this is typically done through a dilated eye exam. If the optic nerve is not healthy, even if your eye pressure is normal, you still could have glaucoma. In fact, my dad has something called normal tension glaucoma and his eye pressure is always normal, but he is on glaucoma treatment because he still has a weak optic nerve that needs protection. Myth number eight, I can stop my eye drops once my pressure normalizes. Now the truth is, unfortunately, glaucoma is a lifelong condition. This means when patients say, hey doc, okay, I'm gonna start taking these eye drops for the high pressure, how long do I need to take them for? Well, unfortunately, if you stop the treatment, it's very likely that your pressure will go up again. Now, there are cases when someone goes to have cataract surgery, and we may recommend that they have a small glaucoma procedure done at the same time, which is called MIGS, or Minimally Invasive Glaucoma Surgery, MIGS. And when they have cataract surgery and MIGS together, oftentimes patients don't need to take their glaucoma drops after the surgery. Now we monitor them closely after this and if they show signs of their pressure going up after surgery, then we will restart them on their medication. So keeping up with your glaucoma treatment and even keeping up with your eye exams to continue to measure your pressure is really important. And typically you will have to use your eye drops for a long period of time, unless you have some other type of intervention that's done like a laser or surgery. And even in those situations, depending on how advanced your glaucoma is, you may still need some form of eye drops. Myth number nine, and one of the most important things that I wanna clarify, and this myth is vision loss from glaucoma is immediate and obvious. Now I've said this in different ways in earlier parts of this video, but unfortunately, Vision loss in glaucoma starts in the periphery or on the side. This means when patients lose vision from glaucoma, they have no idea that they are losing it. And some patients, I even had a patient who came in today whose pressure was in the 30s and was having active glaucoma damage, but came in with no symptoms and just came in for a regular eye exam. I can't tell you how many of these types of patients I see all the time because glaucoma does not have any symptoms in so many cases. So it's really, really important to go in for a routine eye exam, especially as you start getting older. So 40 and above, I always recommend if you haven't had an eye exam in a few years, be sure to go and get one because glaucoma is the silent thief of sight and it can rob you of your vision slowly and without you having any symptoms at all. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about glaucoma, be sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to make a future video about them. Remember to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.